might be bummed. I think that there's rain, but rain, possibly sunshine. <laughs> that could mean a rainbow. That means a pot of gold. And, I'm right, and, and, the, and the rain shows up as green <laughs> on the radar, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, a perfect <laughs> combination for this St. Patrick's Day. And uh, it does come after that weekend. It was very spring-like. Again, it was the warmest weekend that we had seen so far in 2014 with that high temperature getting back up to 63 degrees yesterday. And that was with those clouds moving in, especially in the second half of the day, eventually uh, seeing rain late last night. But on Saturday, we had a high temperature of 68 degrees, uh, which surpassed our warmest day so far this year by four degrees. Yesterday, still at 64 degrees in Roseburg, seeing those low 60s in North Bend. The warmest spot was Medford at 73 degrees yesterday, but even Central and Eastern Oregon enjoying uh, the warm weather, early spring-like conditions with highs in the upper 60s in Bend, 70 yesterday in Burns. And compare that to, again, just 12 hours later this morning, and now Bend is seeing snow flurries and temperatures down into the low 30s. As snow levels dropped down to 1,500 feet as a strong cold front moved in late last night. We started to see that rain here across western Oregon around 9 o'clock and then saw some heavy rain all the way through about midnight. And then it's been scattered showers ever since then. But again, all changing over to snow up above that 1,500 foot mark. So we're going to continue to see these scattered showers off and on here throughout the day. You can see there's a lot of separation between those individual cells, uh, which means we're going to see plenty of sun breaks here throughout the day as well. But that chance of showers will remain here for the next 24 hours. Temperatures right now again a little bit cool, 42 degrees in Eugene, seeing those mid-40s along the coast and down below freezing this morning in Bend and Sun River. If you have plans on driving across the Cascades today, you do want to be prepared for snow-covered roads there. The cold front itself is now already east of the Cascades, and so that's why that heaviest rain has tapered off. Now, as we head into Tuesday, those showers will continue to dwindle uh, early in the morning. Could see a snow-rain mix, though, all the way to the valley floor. Could also see some small hail out there today, uh, but we'll see brief high-pressure Tuesday which will dry us out before the next storm gets here on Wednesday. That storm is also going to bring in some rainfall and snow showers above 1,500 feet again. Uh, that will even be a bigger snowmaker for the Cascade Passes. As for the next 24 hours, you can see right here on Stormcast, our computer model, again, seeing periods of dry conditions with those scattered showers and then seeing all snow showers across, uh, again, the elevations above 1,500 feet. You notice as we head later into this afternoon and evening, less and less showers into tonight. Uh, again, that chance through early tomorrow morning and then we'll see mostly sunny dry conditions for Tuesday afternoon before that next storm comes rolling in on Wednesday. So for those of you along the coast, high temperatures will be back to the low 50s. So again, all of us 10 to 15 degrees colder than yesterday. Some nice sun breaks out there. Winds will be from the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. For the Umqua Basin, it's low to mid 50s. For you also seeing those scattered showers and sun breaks today as much as two additional inches uh, for the Cascade Passes. Highs in the low 30s. Central Oregon, you'll be back into the low to mid 40s could see some snow flurries this morning. Also some breezy winds from the west uh, with gusts up as high as 30 miles per hour. Central into the valley again. Temperatures here a little bit warmer. We'll get back into the low 50s, but still that is still 10 degrees colder than yesterday. Sun breaks with those scattered showers. And over the next seven day stretch again, we're going to continue to see showers again on Wednesday. First day of spring is Thursday. That's when the showers wrap up. And then dry for this weekend. Same story for the Umqua Basin. You'll get back to the mid 60s by Sunday. The Cascades, another chance for snow snow showers Wednesday into Thursday and for the Willamette Valley again continue to see showers through the first day of spring and it's back into the low 60s this weekend.